Hey, what's up, guys? This is about another video, and today we'll be comparing these two phones the Samsung Galaxy F33 5G on my left, right here, and the Samsung Galaxy M52 5G on my right, right here. Right, so I'm going to be comparing them in now. We test and then now uh, for comparison at the end of the video. So, if you didn't subscribe, hit me subscribe, and if you end up liking what's in the video, give me a thumbs up if you good for that. Right, so, um Let's make sure I have no apps in the background of each. There is okay. And quickly, it's start. Starting off with phone. Okay, that's the tie. Contact. Let me see it on that. Be Contact. That was slightly percent M fifty two five G. Settings. Tie. Camera. This person, the M52 5G Instagram. This person, the M52 5G. So the M52 has this problem of failing to go home. I don't know what happens to it. Okay, let's continue. Wrong. That's first on the M52 5G. Again. Play Store M52 5G GG Hey, I think that's a tie YouTube So again, the M52 5G Spotify Okay so I think that was first on the M52 5G as well. Fan Master. M52 5G. Right, so let's go ahead and see. The device capabilities, how many layers you can have. So right, as you can see, the M52 5G is, is actually superior. Yet the M52 5G is, uh, has a superior chipset, but for some reason in Kind Master, you can edit, you can have more layers on the M52 5G. I think they have, they have the same storage speed, but yeah, for some reason, <laughs> this is faster. Okay, so yeah, when it comes to Kain Master, I think uh, for opening, F52 was faster. But when it comes to how many layers you can edit, it's actually weird enough. More layers on the FD5G. I would expect that the 778G right here perform better, but uh, yeah, this is what it is. Okay, I'm moving on to the games. Temporan Okay So that's first on the, e on the M52 5G Okay Now we're moving on to eFootball which is the heaviest game We're testing today One, two, three, go first okay I think the mp 2 g is just slightly faster and can still if we go 2022 right so that's it for the speed test and uh, now let's start off with the full comparison so I'll start off comparing the displays the displays are um, quite similar Biggest difference being that uh, the FT25G has a bigger display, 6.7 inches versus 6.5 inches on the FT25G. And the other thing that you can, uh, the other thing that differs is the colors, you know, the color profile. This is cooler and this is warmer. Actually, the reds on these are more like orange. The reds on the FT25G are more like orange. So I think the colors on the M52 5G, more accurate in my view. Yeah, and uh, the other thing I want to compare is the performance. So, when it comes to performance, I think outside with the M52 5G, yeah, for most tasks, it's going to be better. And uh, for gaming, yeah, 
you're going to have more support. You know, the applications that you can't find, you know, some heavy games, for example, Grid Auto Sport, you can't find it now. It's not supported in the, on the FTT 5G. For example, I'll show you that. You can download it, but on here you can actually get it. As you can see, when you search for Grid Auto Sport, that's a very good very good game but because of the chips that this has it's not supported so yeah when it comes to gaming you're going to be better off getting the mpg 5 g yeah i think i'll talk about is the cameras the cameras um i'll say the trade blows for the most part when it comes to video i think i'll say it with the mpg 5 g yeah i feel like it's, it has sharper video you know but the one thing that uh, the mpg 2 has better is the ultra -oid. Ultra it is really better on the MP2 5G. At least that's out on that. Yeah, I can tell that it's really better. And uh, the MP2 generally tends to be softer. And this sharper, the MP2 5G. More sharp, even for photos. Yeah. But uh, I believe the colors in the MP2 5G, at least to me, are more realistic. Yeah. So there are a few differences, obviously, because they have uh, different ISPs, even they have different chipsets. Yeah. When it comes to the cameras, if I was to pick one, I think I might, mm, I might go with the MPT2 5G in general. Yeah. The MPT2 5G has more cameras at the back, but uh, <laughs> the one camera that makes it different is uh, a depth sensor. Yeah, this doesn't have a depth sensor. It has a 5 MP macro, same as this. So yeah, for the most part, on the back and the front, they have similar cameras. Only difference being the 12 MP camera, ultra wide camera, which is better on the MPT2 5G. Yeah. Yeah, that's about the cameras and uh, the, the last thing I want to talk about is battery life. Battery life, they're very close, closely matched. But uh, yeah, I, I felt like I got better battery life, weirdly enough, on the M52 5G. But uh, yeah, even they have the same capacity and uh, both of them are 120 hertz. Yeah, I feel uh, yeah, they should have somewhat similar performance when it comes to battery life and uh, charging speed as well. Yeah, <clears throat> so that's it uh, for this comparison case. If you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.